night, all my beauties out there. It's been so long, it seems like forever. Um, <laughs> time has just really gone by really quick for me lately. I've had some ups and some downs the past couple months. Uh, the up is I got engaged to the love of my life. So excited about that. Uh, and then some really, really bad downs. I don't know if you uh, looked on my YouTube, but I had posted if you all could have prayed for my niece. She got hit by a car, um, only 11 years old. But the great thing is so many people prayed for her. She pulled through, and my family is just so grateful. So if you're one of them, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, but on to what I'm here for. So I've recently been looking into buying the lip tars. Everybody knows the OCC lip tars. It's all over YouTube. I've known about them for about a year and a half, maybe two, um, and I've always wanted to buy them, but I've just always stopped myself because I have a ton of lipsticks, a ton of lip glosses. I'm just like, it's, an, it's another lipstick I don't really need. But um, as I started really looking around, I didn't realize, you know, what's cool about these, they're very, very pigmented, very pigmented, and on top of that, they look like a lip gloss, but they're not. They lay on your lips like a lipstick, so they kind of stain too at the same time. So that's, uh, get my pencil here, that's the nice thing about them. Uh, they are a tad pricey, I mean, they're not for what you get. But if you don't want to go spend a ton of money, I could, you know, see why it would stop you from buying them. But with that said, the reason I am here, I'm going to do, not a review, but I just bought a few of them. And I wanted to show you uh, what they look like on. Now, the reason I'm doing that video is, or this video, when I was looking around to buy them, you know, you have the colors listed on the website. But it's completely different. Listed compared to what's on your, your, you know, what it looks like on you. We all have different skin colors, skin tones, so what this looks like on me might look totally different on you. So when I was looking around, I was trying to just find any video I could with someone wearing different colors so I can see if they have my skin tone and match it up so I could buy properly what colors would fit me. So as I started looking around, uh, I couldn't find any with my exact color. I'm sure you're all probably watching this and you're not my exact color. But at least if you do have fairer skin, you could see what they look like on. Because this color um, on someone that's a little darker is gorgeous and it's very toned down. This on me is very bright. So there's a huge difference. And this is going to sound so stupid, but I've only learned this the past couple years. I would see someone wearing a gorgeous lip color, I'd run out and buy it and it would be too dark on me and I didn't understand why. So if you don't know, if you have different skin color from someone that you see wearing a lipstick you love, it's not going to look like that on you. But back to the lip tars. So the cool thing about these is, for example, this color here, Complex. I would never wear this on its own. But if you mix that with this color, what is it, Narcissus, this bright bubblegum pink, you are going to get a gorgeous, gorgeous beige pink out of this. So that's why I started kind of buying colors that I would never wear but could mix great with other colors. So not all of them I'm going to show you on my lips. I'm not going to show white and I'm not going to show complex because I am very fair and if this would look stupid on me very fair then it's not going to match anybody's skin tone. Now if you want to wear it for fun that's one thing but this is just more to show you guys what the colors look like on. So I guess I'm going to start with the lightest one since the dark colors do stain your lips. We are going to start off with Cha Cha. This is a very, very pretty color. Very pretty. Uh, it describes on the website as a creamy pale tangerine. Yeah, I guess it does look like a creamy pale tangerine. But this is a great color to mix. I've tried recently and I think it's a little too crazy for me, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like on because that is the point in the video. So you're gonna need a lip brush and you need very little. This is probably too much. 
you're just going to apply it. Okay, so there you have it. This would be great for Halloween. <laughs> But I am not going to wear this on its own. It's too orange on me. However, I have seen on videos where this color does look gorgeous, but you have to be the right skin tone to wear it. So this is great to mix because you can get any, mix it with a pink and you'll get a pinky peach color. So that's the first one. Okay, on to the second. So this one is called Femme. I believe it is and on the website it says it's a pale yellow base pink um, beautiful beautiful color I think it's one of their newer ones when I started buying these I went for the traditional colors and then I started looking at like the yellows and the blues and you could do a lot with those because you mix them and that's how you get the difference between this bright pink and this uh, baby light pink if that even sounds right <laughs> so take a little bit of this Alright, so here is this color. This is Femme, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, sorry. But yeah, it's a very, very pretty, um, my alarm keeps going off. Very pretty, uh, just a very light bubblegum pink. This is, I guess, good for every day. So that's Femme. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is Hush. This is explained on the site as a fleshy natural pink. This is everyone's probably favorite color and it will go with a lot of skin tones. I expected it a little bit lighter than what it is, but um, still really pretty. Here we go. So this is Hush. It's a little darker on me, but as you can see, it's just a very toned down neutral pink. Very great for every day. Hush. Okay. Next we are going to do Divine. Divine, the website, it says it's a bright flamingo pink, and I believe it. All right, this is Divine. It's such a pretty color. I have actually not tried this by itself. When I first got these, I mixed them a lot. So I really, really love this color. It's a great, to me, it's almost, I don't know, like pink, but it has a hint of peach. Maybe because I still have chacha on my lips. I don't know. So that's Divine. Love that color. Okay. Next, we are doing Narcissus. The site says it's creamy lavender tone pink. Looks pretty dang pink in the, the container here. So. All right, so this is a do or Narcissus. If you want to be Barbie for Halloween, this would be the perfect pink to wear. Very bright, but yet it has a purple tone. Um, I, myself, would probably have to mix this with a little bit of white or a little bit of complex because it is too bright for me, but that's me. So that is Narcissus. Pretty, though. Very, very pretty. Now I'm doing the lightest to the darkest because the darker ones do stain your lips, so remember that. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is Trick. This is described as a pale beige with subtle warm undertones. 
I did not buy this to wear on its own. It is going to be way too dark for me, but it's a really pretty neutral you can blend with pinks and peaches. But hey, let's give it a shot. Alright, so this is Trick. This would be great for me if I was still in junior high and I really wanted brown lips, which I loved in junior high. Uh, but right now, lips a little dry. Right now, I would say I need a little bit more of something on top of it. Even maybe the white, I don't know. Make it a little more beige. So that's Trick. Now I'm going to only do two more colors. The uh, ones I'm not going to do is Complex and Feather. This is just pure white opaque lip color. And then Complex, I don't have the description of what it is, but it's really just like a, I don't know, very toned color. Maybe you can see here. It's almost like a gray, but I don't think that's what it is because that's what the color tone is but it looks great. So I'm not going to do these. I'm not going to waste your time. Okay. Okay. The next one I have is called Stalker. Very pretty red. It's true classic pinup blue base red. That's what the site says. Sorry, I have it printed out in front of me because I am not good at describing colors. So this is Stalker. And I must tell you before I put this on, I have never worn a red in my life. Alright, there you go. That is Stalker and you can see it is a really bright red if you're very fair toned. So what I actually did is I ordered um, the black color because I'm going to mix it with this just to kind of tone it down a little bit. But if you're not careful, I got a little it on my chin. It's going to stain so got to be careful with that. So that's Stalker as I'm cleaning up my face. It's a pretty color though. Alright, so lastly we got Grandma. Grandma is explained as a clean and classic true coral. Very pretty color. Probably look like been smearing lipstick all over my face. Alright, so this is Grandma and it is definitely a coral color. Um, it is pretty. I could probably wear this on its own even though I probably look like I have wiped lipstick all over my mouth and then try to wipe it off. So yeah, hopefully this, or not tutorial, but hopefully this, I guess, kind of review helps you out. Um, I know when I was looking around, there wasn't a ton of videos of just showing what the color looked like on, so I thought, hey, if I could help you, So this is Grandma. Very pretty color, very coral. So definitely I could wear this out. So there you go. Um, hopefully this review helped you out. Uh, like I said, when I was looking around, there wasn't a ton of videos with fair-skinned fair uh, people trying on, or actually putting the lipstick on. That's what I loved because I could see what it looks like on. When you do a swatch, totally different than when it's on you. So. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or would like to request any videos, just email me and please subscribe. Thanks, guys.